news that will change your world from the University of Calgary, U of C. This is now. Right now, the team's getting ready for the 2008 North American Solo Challenge. We're racing from Dallas to Calgary over about nine days. I'm really excited that the race is ending in Calgary. I think as the home team, it gives us an inherent advantage. We'll have a lot of support here. I hope to see thousands of people cheering us on as we cross the finish line on July 22nd. The last time we ran this race, North American happened and then Panasonic World Solar Challenge in Australia. This year it's the other way around. So Australia has happened and this year the North American Solar Car Challenge is happening and will end at the University of Calgary. So the students have a very short timeline to learn, take what they learned in Australia about this car and rebuild it to compete in the North America. And one of the big challenges that they have is that they lost some of the power capacity through the crash. We did have an accident in Australia. Uh, a few days before the race actually began. It was a pretty horrific accident. Um, there were no injuries. Our car behaved exactly as it was designed to. Our drivers were perfectly fine. We chose to um, work a few days straight and get this car together. We welded a space frame to the car and um, attached solar cells on that to make up for um, the loss in aerodynamics and in solar cells that we took. Our tail section was basically sheared off which caused some damage to our array. What's on the back of the car right now is a aluminum lattice, which is not very aerodynamically sound. So we're trying to make it as aerodynamic as possible. Right now, what our testing that we're doing is just individual cells, batteries, charging them, discharging them, and so on and so forth. But once we get to the road, we can kind of see how wind affects it, because uh, air resistance could reduce our output or our speed by a substantial bit. The solar car is a place where students from multiple faculties can come together to work and solve a problem. Uh, this for our engineers may be the first time that they will work with students from other disciplines and similarly business students, education students, uh, social science students are working with engineers for the first time and that reflects the real world. The other thing we're trying to do is connect the wires from the lecture hall and the textbook laboratory onto the road. And there is no better place to put your lessons to the test as when something goes wrong and you've got a deadline. I think we're fortunate in that we have a car that is drivable. At this point in time, what we're doing is we're trying to tweak it so that when we do race it from Dallas to Calgary, it will be at its best.